this video I'm going to describe some very basic statistical notation symbols that you might encounter. Uh, here we have the Greek uppercase letter sigma, which simply s indicates that you should add up uh, what, whatever's next to it, obviously following order of operations. Uh, so here we have sigma x, which would basically tell you to add up all the scores for the variable x. So the Greek uppercase letter sigma stands for summation or adding. So if we had a small data set like the one we see here, we would add up all the values for x and we would have sum of x or sigma x. So I've entered them in a spreadsheet to do this uh, somewhat quickly. So we'll add up all the scores for variable x and we get 426 and that's simply the meaning of the symbol sigma. Now, uh, here we have something a little bit more complicated. What this is telling us to do is to take the sum of the squared x's. So following order of operations, we would square all the scores uh, for the variable x and then add up the title. So let me go back to the spreadsheet that I created. So I would want to create a column that is the squared values of our variable x. So I'll do this quickly in Excel. If you're doing this by hand, you would just simply square every single value. So we have squared all the val values of variable x. And then now I also want to get the sum of those squared values. And it's 66,324. So that would be uh, the sum of the squared x's. And then another thing you're likely to encounter often in a basic statistics class is the sum of x squared. So here we see that, that sigma x is in parentheses and then we square it. So what that basically means is we take all the scores for x, add them up, following order of operations, we do what's in the parentheses first and then we square the total. So we already have sum of x which is 426 so if we wanted to get sum of x squared, we would just square that number, which is 181,476. So that's how you would get the sum of x squared, which is different from the sum of the squared x's. Now these are common ingredients in some of the hand calculations that you'll be doing in the modules moving forward. So it's important to get a firm grasp of these important ingredients, even though by themselves they, they, they don't have a lot of meaning by themselves uh, combined together. Uh, I think for things we'll be doing in the near future in this course, uh, they will be necessary and useful to be able to do. So thank you for listening and I hope you learned a little bit about some basic statistical notation.